a good one in store for you here downtown. It's the Diamondbacks and the Padres. Next. Clear skies over Petco Park in San Diego. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the San Diego Padres. Hi again, folks. Matt Vaskersian here for this National League matchup out west. I'm joined in the booth by longtime big leaguers Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. Before we get to them, let's get a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Arizona Diamondbacks as manager Kirk Gibson sets his one through nine up this way. They'll go to work against the veteran right-hander Edinson Volquez. Now this is lined into left field, a base hit. So he kicks off the festivities with a ringing single. So it's a leadoff base runner here for Arizona. And with that, let's give you a look at how the Padres align defensively. It's brought to us by the folks at Majestic. If it happens in baseball, it happens in Majestic. Lined into left field, and that's a base hit. And the runner holds at second, so they're at first and second now with nobody and out. Here's the first pitch. Hit hard on the ground is short. And that's through into left, a base hit. And not in time as the second run scores. i tell you what. Anytime you get a first inning visit from your pitching coach, something ain't working out there. You know, here's what he's saying. Look, we need you to figure this out. We need some innings out of you here. Let's go. Swing and a line drive to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground is short. And that's through. A base hit. And that'll bring home run number three. It's now a 3 nothing cushion. And now three consecutive hits here in the top of inning number one, and these hometown fans are starting to wonder what's happening out there. Oh. I'll hit sharply as this is pulled into right. Dives and makes a spectacular catch for the third out of the inning as he might have saved a couple of runs right there. So they strike for three runs on five hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. It's the Diamondbacks three, the Padres. Starting lineup for the host Padres looks like this. They'll square off against a guy trying to rebound from an injury-shortened campaign in 2012, as you see the numbers on your screen for the right-hander, Ian Kennedy. And behind him, here's a look at the defensive alignment for Arizona. Started to go. They'll look for the appeal down to third and ring him up, says the third base umpire. He's gone. So they breeze through this half of the inning. We'll move on to the second now at Petco Park. It's the Diamondbacks three and the Padres nothing. That's right. Wait for your 
swing and a hot shot toward third. And he'll have himself a base hit. And they're on the board as this is now a 3-1 ball game. Now a fastball swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. And this will find the seats in left for a home run. It's a two-run shot to straight away left as they stretch the lead to 5-1. Well... You can hang part of the blame for this one on the leadoff walk, but I suppose you could also hang some of the blame on the fact that this pitch is right in his wheelhouse. He makes sure he doesn't miss it. Now here comes Bud Black up out of the Friars' dugout on his way to the mound. And that's going to do it here for Edinson Volquez. So he'll leave after working just four innings, and this was not the kind of start he was looking for, I'm quite sure. Brad Boxberger is going to take over here in inning number five as it's going to be up to their bullpen to try and keep them in the game here. Here's a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. The throw here is not in time. He beats Grandal's tag. Fastball, and he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And right off the bench, it's a home run. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. And with that, it's now a 6-3 ball game. All day long, we've been talking about how good his location's been. You're going to see where this one was on show track. That's a rare mistake here, and that one's going to wind up costing him two runs. Oh, high, deep. Where will this one come down? Now that is a moonshot, folks. A long home run. Miguel Montero, a solo home run, as it is now 7-3. to three. Well, this is the chance you take when you work up in the zone like this. I mean, this is right in his happy zone, and he jumps all over it and sends it right over the wall. Here's a swing, and the ball hits softly on the line. And that'll land for a base hit. And they'll put the brakes on the runner at third, so the bases will remain loaded here with still only one away. Well, apparently, they still got a pulse here. A run is in to score on the base hit, and now, with another hit or two, they could really make this interesting. Come set, now the pitch. Now a ball hit back up the middle. And he wisely just steps on second to get the force play. But they will not get them both as he beats out the back end and drives home the run from third. Now a swing and a ground ball. And he has delivered one of the biggest at-bats of the afternoon as he cashes in with a base hit. And two away. Shot back up the middle, and that's through into center field. Base hit. Long throw to the plate, 
And the go-ahead run will score from second as they've taken the lead here in the late going. Another run home to score in the inning, and it's not going to be charged to him, but still, he's got to find some way to get his guys out of this already. As a look, now the pitch. Here's a line drive that is caught. Oh, my. They'll strand the tying run at third, and the ball game is over. Boy, I tell you, the way these guys fought back in this one was really something to watch. They were down five runs at one point in this game, but they rallied all the way back, and now they come away with the victory. Tight ball game all throughout. Winds up a slim one-run victory in the end as we get you one final look at our line score. And quite a lot of offense in this one, but if we had to highlight one guy that made the difference, there he is. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, he only had one hit, but he definitely made it count. Big home run that turned out to be the decisive blow in the ballgame. So that brings us to the conclusion in this one. For EK Psycho and the rest of our crew, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, log on to theshownation.com. The Padres win it 8-7. So long from San Diego.